Hello and welcome to the lecture series on monetary economics. In the previous class, we have seen Reserve Bank of India when it was established and some details with respect to the same. Today, I have for you the Central Board of Directors of the Reserve Bank of India. Yeah, so let's get started. So, RBI consists of 21 members and the topmost member is known as the Governor of the Reserve Bank of India. Governor of the Reserve Bank of India and currently it is Shakti Kanta Das who is the uh, governor of Reserve Bank of India. Then there are four deputy governors who are there to assist the governor of the Reserve Bank of India. These deputy governors can be from the executive board of the Reserve Bank or there will be one member who is an economist, one member who can be an IAS officer as well. Furthermore, there are four directors to represent the four regions. So I hope you can recollect that in the previous lecture when I was talking about uh, RBI, I told you that there are four regions where uh, the, which are which are assisting the Reserve Bank of India headquarters, and these re regions are in the west, east, north, and south, respectively. It is in the west, Mumbai, then east, uh, Kolkata, then we have North Delhi, that is Delhi, and then we have Madras in the south. So the the four directors are representing the four regions. Thereafter, thereafter we have representatives from the ministry of finance these representatives are the economic affairs secretary and then we have the financial services secretary so these are two members from the ministry of finance and thereafter we have 10 directors from various fields they can be from agriculture they can be from obviously they can be economists then they can be uh, from public sector banks and all of that combination and we have 10 directors from various fields so if we sum this up 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 and 10 so this will all come to 21 so there are effectively the central board of directors of the reserve bank of india or at the reserve bank of india consists of 21 members who are there to look after the monetary and fiscal system of the country so that is why the understanding of reserve bank of india and the board of directors is pretty much important uh, as far as the monetary as well as financial system of the country is concerned. So in the next uh, lecture, I'll be talking about the functions of Reserve Bank of India. So please stay tuned. Thank you.